so this this is a a younger tree, a smaller tree that has um, been greatly affected by a blister rust. The the part of the infection that has killed it is right here where this canker is. Um, basically the canker girdles the tree and that's where it ends up dying. Once a, tr once a bowl is girdled, everything above it dies off. You can see there's still a little bit of life and down below, but I don't give much hope for this tree. So how it spreads, uh, I guess I, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable going into the complicated life cycle of of blister rust, but there are five different spore stages. Maybe I'll go to a simplified version. Um, so there, it's a, it has uh, the host, white pines, and then an alternate host, which is ribes. Uh, there are two other minor alter, alternate hosts, but the main one being ribes. And so it spreads from ribes, and, and uh, there are Basidiospores that's that and the that move from the ribes into the needles of the white pine, and once the needle is infected, that infection moves through the needles into the branch, and it just continues to move if there is nothing to stop it, if a resistance type isn't present, and it continues to move through the branch into the bowl, and that's eventually when it kills the trees and when it reaches the bowl. Um, and then as there's an infection, there's what are called uh, aciospores that form and uh, are released in the wind and then they spread back to the ribes plants or the other alternate hosts. And it's a, a continual cycle. Ribes is a, a, a current, like a gooseberry or alpine current. It's a, it's a genus, so there's several different species tied to it. It isn't new, but it is newish to our greater Yellowstone area. Um, and so it is, it is impacting it um, greatly. I think other things that compound it are, are a changing climate. Uh, the tree is having to deal with other stressors, such as higher levels of mountain pine beetle, uh, competition from other species and that just compounds the issues that blister rust brings.